you see why Africans will continue to dislike Nigerians. They think we are arrogant because of Nigerians like you. And what I want the world to know that is you, you are not even a Nigerian back home. You said you are not Nigerian. In Nigeria, you have a name for Nigeria. You call her Zoo. You call her all sort of name. It's always you guys that are the first to say, Nigeria is a useless country. You guys are always the first to put the country down with your words. You go come international so that you destroy her reputation internationally because you are coming to represent her and you are making the world to believe that you are speaking on behalf of millions of nigerians 2022 there was influx of nigerian youtubers i think they had like a whatsapp group where they were telling themselves let's do ghana content ghanaians continue to support them i was hot not because ghanaians supported them i was hot because some of them if you look their video close if you look closely at their videos you guys you could see them doing like this after every sentence after every nice word said about Ghanaians or Ghana you could see them doing like this because they know if you hide their bad attitude but you could see Ghanaians giving the energy like loving where are they today it takes you just three months to fake and the remaining four months you cannot sustain it so they are all gone they fade away like they don't exist their memories forgotten their channels like graveyards quiet and lonely and now they are lamenting see nothing on youtube is easy hello guys and welcome back to another video if you are new here hi welcome my name is lillian and to you my returning subscribers thank you so much for always tuning in to watch my videos please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button and of course do not forget to turn on the bell notification put it on the last one up the one that says all so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you I want to go straight into the video please do where to hit the like button and of course by the time you understand the video i will be glad to read comments from you feel free to release the comments as they come be it nice or not so nice or not nice at all we are equal to the tax we are going to read them and learn from your own opinion this is a reaction video but in this video i want to apologize to this nigerian because she said a lot of things about me and Ghanaians and kenyans in the video she even called me a loose woman i'm not offended because if you're not loose how will you have two kids and not just for one man two men so i agreed i'm loose but the one that made me feel afraid and i want to apologize is because she went on to tell Ghanaian men not to marry me that i am desperately looking for a husband and that they should not marry me that is like you trying to block oxygen from going into somebody's soul you want to cut off my oxygen so that i will die that is like you and I having a fight and of all the body parts in my body, you did not hold any of them. You went straight to my neck and tried to block oxygen so that I would die. I mean, like, if not so, why will you leave all the things on head only for you to take Ghanaian men? not to marry me even when you know how you know how important that is for me you still went on to tell them not to marry me yeah you may not have been liking me or all my ideas but i don't think you should hate me to the extent of you telling men not to marry me i mean like all my lifetime effort that i have put into this project of wanting a Ghanaian man to marry me is it's unfair for you to come up with few minutes videos to tell them to not marry me it's not fair but anyways fine let's go straight into the business of today um, a nigerian youtuber who was everywhere on the continent of god bless africa she started off so well i think that time money entered her hand and she was thinking of a business to do she now realized that oh youtube youtube pays because some of us like me now have a new channel where i teach people how to grow and the benefits they stand to gain on youtube should they start a youtube channel so she stumbled on such videos on youtube and then she realized that okay best business to invest her money 
monies into could be travel content. First off, she packed her bags and came straight to Ghana with less than a thousand subscribers. By the time she got to Ghana, Ghanaians from around the world came through for her as they always do. Out of generosity, Ghanaians from around the world and for the fact that they want to see what you think about their countries, especially Ghanaians outside because a lot of them want to see what's going on in their country. A lot of Ghanaians are actually looking to invest here in Ghana. So they're always up to date with their countries, um, news, videos, blogs, and vlogs. So this lady was doing that and she did very well, excellently. Of course, by the time she was able to make more money from... I don't think... For me, I wouldn't pretend not to know that the views she got from Ghanaians while she was in Ghana is not enough to travel to Kenya because I'm a YouTuber too. And I know how this platform works, especially when you are newly monetized. There is no money. But Ghanaians came through for her. She got monetized in Ghana and they went back to Nigeria, packed her things and went to Kenya because it was looking like the business is booming. And then she went straight to Kenya. At Kenya, she was constantly telling everybody in her video that Ghanaians are close-minded. Now she talk um, the video is there, but I know they in the mood to to play that she was constantly saying Ghanaians are close-minded towards nigerians absolutely nobody asks her because i don't think kenyans care they don't care and this is not like kenyans i mean are interested to know what Ghanaians are thinking of them but she felt like maybe the best way to pamper everyone and makes them feel like they are more open-minded towards nigerians was for her to say that about Ghanaians to make it sounds like oh okay we need to sit up so that we can win this this contest of the best of the most friendly african country well i think Kenyans played along or maybe they like that because they don't know that this lady and where she comes from is a strategy that is their strategy to get whatever they want from you by the time she left Kenya back to her home country which is Nigeria she started to find fault with Kenyans you know she she went from Kenya she went to Uganda things didn't work out the way she planned them or the way she thought so she went back to Nigeria and then ever since then this girl have been lambasting Ghanaians, Kenyans. The only people I have not heard that lambast I think are Rwandese. I don't think a lot of them saw her videos. Ever since then she's been making malicious videos about other African countries. She likes to do that in the name of Nigeria as a Nigerian representing all Nigerians, wanting Kenyans or Ghanaians, South Africans to think that Nigerians are their problem. Trying to make them think she represents everyone, but I have from time to time come up here to, de to debunk that because Nigeria is a big country with diverse cultures and tradition and i lily ogini comes from one of the cultures and one of the states in nigeria so it's unfair for me to sit down and allow someone drags me into their bad attitude just because they don't know the word peace where i come from i have been like i don't struggle for anything because i mean like we can co a bit without me looking down on other people now she's angry with me and other people she just made a video that is really going out of hand but like i said earlier in the video of all the things that she said about me in that video the one that hurts me the most is she telling Ghanaians not to marry me i mean like why makachuku why do you have to do that to me like why why like fuck why i mean like why do you hate me that much Calling me a loose woman and the rest, calling me, telling me that I'm doing all my type of videos for views in Ghana. I don't have a problem. But let me play a little bit of her videos and why she's angry that Nigerians are promoting Ghana. She strongly believes that the Nigerian videos on YouTube have really helped to market Ghana to the international bodies. And I have strong objection to that. 
I, I strongly disagree with that because I mean like if I tell you something is good and then you come into that country and that thing is not good will you won't you tell the next person not to come so if at some point we nigerians youtubers we nigerian youtubers have marketed ghana and it attracts people into the country it means that uh, what we have been saying is true and i mean why not like if people come and test the goodness of ghana and want to remain in ghana and even want to invite more genuine people into the country how is that a problem do you know that some of the top brands in the world do not advertise their brands cosmetics brands like mac cosmetics one of the oldest and one of the best luxury makeup brands in the world mac does not like i don't you hardly see them doing promotion the only thing they can do is collaborate with a superstar i mean when i say super i mean mega superstar it simply means they do not need publicity to gain customers because they know they are good so maybe that is ghana for you because for me i have not been contacted by any government officials in ghana to say oh come and promote this because we need you to talk about this for the international communities to see and come i've not seen any of them do that even ordinary award when they do ordinary mm. I know why I call them ordinary because, man, something as simple as a word, they will not invite me. You see, they're simply telling me that I'm not important and all my videos are not important. So whatever you see me do on my channel is strictly out of the fact that that is how I feel. And I mean, why not? See, you can actually try to market Nigeria because you live in Nigeria. But I think I'm talking too much. Let me leave you to some clips from this person and I'll be back again to give my unapologetic, unbiased opinion. <laughs> In Nigeria have to know is that once you're going outside Nigeria, disgracing Nigeria, putting Nigeria down, putting all those countries above Nigeria, people who are not Africans are watching it. And if they want to rate African countries, they are going to put those countries above you. If you look at the way things are working, there are no much people from uh, from like uh, outside Nigeria for tourism that are coming to Nigeria. Many people are just coming to Nigeria for business purposes because Nigeria has a lot of business business opportunity apart from that Niger people won't be coming to nigeria but even when ghana don't present a lot of opportunity in terms of business that nigeria pro present people are still going to ghana because we nigerians are marketing ghana ahead of nigeria we nigerians are putting ghana above nigeria we nigerians are telling people yes you can go to ghana ghana is better don't come to nigeria i think kenya has made me realize this way they put nigeria down the way they started insulting nigeria made me realize this before we started traveling to kenya a lot of kenyans have great respect for nigerians like if you see the way kenyans are putting nigerians they put nigeria so very high but as we nigerians are going to kenya and telling them that Kenya is better than Nigeria. Those people have not come to Nigeria and many of them may not even ever come to Nigeria. When you go out of Nigeria for the first time and you see that there are some countries which you thought in your head that your country is doing extremely, extremely better than, then when you go to that country, you see that that country has a lot of things which your country don't have when i went to ghana i was praising ghana seeing all sorts of good things about ghana putting ghana ahead of nigeria even when i know that there are some things nigeria like there are so many ways nigeria is better than ghana i see a lot of nigerian youtubers who are based in ghana making this kind of video because of views you want to gain from ghanaians to say about all this travel vlogging going to countries praising countries above your country is that there's this ghanaian girl that came to she has a lot to say ever since this girl came back from kenya and probably broke up with a sugar daddy that was sponsoring the trips she has just transferred the aggression on kenyans ghanians south africans i mean like what did they do to you always been having our social media uh social media issues with these countries just we drag each other and leave it there but you're taking it too serious now you even have a problem now she has a problem with a ghanian girl that visited nigeria 
see this girl supposed to be treated like a gold and diamond because you don't see that on a daily basis you don't see where a Ghanaian will pack their bags to nigeria to go and showcase nigeria even though some of you have forgotten that Wodemaya, the real promoter of africa is a Ghanaian. let's say we all pretend that mm, because he's that big you don't expect him to come from ghana he has been doing a lot for the continent especially for nigeria but a lot of people have you know quickly forgotten about Wodemaya. they have forgotten that Wodemaya is Ghanaian. let's say let's pretend that no Ghanaian has ever been to nigeria except from Efia Kimura, the girl you are criticizing in the video for not saying things the way you want to hear Fia should have been treated like a diamond and gold if if you truly love nigeria like you claim you should have treated that girl like gold and diamond the least you should do for such a person is to treat her highly so that she can go back with great reviews to tell people oh nigeria is not what you expected at the end of the day she ended up in lagos just like you you came to ghana you ended up in accra you didn't go to Kweu, you didn't go to akosombo you didn't go to cape coast you don't go anywhere you don't go attack you don't go kumasi i mean like you didn't go to kumasi you came to ghana and you went back with accra videos and if you go on this girl's channel you realize that all her videos her popular videos are made in ghana and kenya you see why africans will continue to dislike nigerians they think we are arrogant because of nigerians like you and what i want the world to know that is you, you are not even a nigerian back home you said you are not nigerian you call nigeria zoo you do you have a name for nigeria you know that yeah yeah go on go on bash me down they make a good begin they slap on mama and papa in nigeria you have a name for nigeria you call her zoo you call her all sort of name is always you guys that are the first to say nigeria is a useless country you guys are always the first to put the country down with your words just because you hate the country so much and you want it broken at all costs and then when you don't do that one for Nigeria, then she said that strategy you not know, to work you go come international so that you destroy her reputation internationally because you are coming to represent her and you are making the world to believe that you are speaking on behalf of millions of nigerians whereas it's just the way you behave back at home and we know you if i like in this video i'm going to play so many videos i don't understand you people are contradicting things now when they see the talk say nigeria no good now when i see the fight for nigeria on social media i don't get it like what is your problem i mean like how is the color of your wahala we nigerians we understand you and we know how to handle you me as a nigerian i understand you and i know how to handle you but you the international communities do not understand you they don't know the difference but what they don't know is that all of you are the same all of you that are doing these types of divisional videos are from the same region i mean like now why be say when they like to represent nigeria for the baddest i mean with that kind of uh, video why can't you promote nigeria mm, try your best i know where uh, wawu neche there's a nigerian guy also from that region hallelujah that go do wawu neche he promotes the country and now he has started doing african promotion he has started traveling around yeah because why should you restrict yourself you instead of starting from your region at least let's say you don't want to show that people go to your region and show us how the eastern nigeria look like so that people will know i'm um, you know sin moto like one of the best cars manufacturing company is located in the eastern part of nigeria you know go there make you go they start from there you jump you still come up come other people country can't they read the orientation for them like i mean like they play what i don't understand is the exception with ghana why would i know if he drop ghana for a name on a mouth but you see what ghana is like me Ghanaians are like me <laughs> when you want to use me you are free i will allow you to use me use me set it, take achieve your whatever you want but when you are done using me 
you're not gaining anything from after that that is how Ghanaians are especially on youtube you come you get good things to say about them ah Ghanaians are nice hey Ghana is beautiful oh cultural shocks you do all those videos Ghanaians will give you the views my sister when you don't do them again then go leave you because of course it's not you that they came for they came for their beloved country to see what you have to say about them good or bad and the ones among them that don't like criticism, they'll come for your ass. And the ones among them that don't mind criticism, they'll jot it down and carry the anger on their government and make sure that they tell their government to improve. <laughs> so I don't understand. You come Ghana. If you like, you see that you see that mistake that guy did. If you're a young Nigerian YouTuber and you want to start your channel and they tell you go to ghana go to kenya don't mind them oh it doesn't work like that you see ghana if you like promote ghana for 100 years if you leave them then go leave you now let me be the me and one other youtuber i don't want to mention her name here on youtube but a lot of ghanaians will know her it's only me and that youtuber that does content even when we are not in ghana ghanaians still love us they still come for us they still come for us positively. I mean, like, even if we have anything to criticize, even if we criticize Ghanaians, even if we even if we criticize Ghana, Ghanaians will come, we'll go fight, we'll go the ones when they understand it, we'll go understand ourselves, settle again. Because they know say this criticism is coming from a good place. It's constructive, not destructive, like what some of you are doing. I remember one other Nigerian YouTuber also from that region that, that was in Ghana. And this guy was doing amazing. And if it, it was time for him to leave Ghana and he felt like, okay, the best way to pay Ghanaians back to fat so that they help they, 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 to pollute the hair by belittling them with words. Hmm. May bros come back from Kenya come to nigeria let's see how your channel will be some of you will be claiming eh, eh, youtube means nothing to me not lie you guys are depressed low-key you are all depressed apart from making the money on youtube and not just youtube all social media platforms the way your personality people you are off to people like people don't like you and that's it social media is the place that tells you the freaky fat truth you go here, you know they grow. You go here, you know they grow. You say, okay, make you come Ghana because eh, they, those ones. Mm. Now you'll be saying, oh, let's go to Ghana. you grow because those ones, not they select. They go support you. If you go there, talk a good thing about them. Oh. Talk a good thing about them. Oh. They go support you. Oh. Then you go carry your back, begin come. Ghanaians go welcome you well. The energy when you give, they go give you back. Uh -huh. When well, you don't come on call, except you want to live here like I'm living. And even when you live here, it's just a matter of three months for them to understand you, to see you, to evaluate you and monitor you, to understand you. Then they will come on hand for your body because they know say you are a user. But they know they're not going to ever talk about. They will never say, oh, eh, you come to use us. No, they will just wash and come off for your body. If you are planning to pull that off where you can go use them for the views no problem they are ready for you they will give you the views because if i sit down now tell Ghanaians, make me reduce how you give it will come be like say are they jealous i want all the views to myself now they themselves go still attack me they go say what is it yeah patcho do you eh yeah. so don't fight for us me i will fight for you it's by force by fire if you think I'm lying, in 2022, there was influx of Nigerian YouTubers that don't even live in Ghana. They live in various countries. I think they had like a WhatsApp group <laughs> where they were telling themselves, let's do Ghana content. That one, they move away, away, away. Those people, Sabi, that, Sabi, Sabi, watch person videos. Let's go and do it. This one will come. Eh, my shocks in Ghana. The ones that have not been to Ghana. Eh, I'm shocked about this. Ghana is this. Ghana is that. Ghana is this. Ghanaians continue to support them. I was hot, not because Ghanaians supported them. I was hot because some of them, if you look their video close, <laughs> if you look closely at their videos, you can you could see them do it like this. After every sentence, after every nice word said about Ghanaians or Ghana, you could see them doing like this because they know if you hide their bad attitude. But you could see Ghanaians giving the energy, like loving. 
Where are they today? It takes you just three months to fake and the remaining four months, you cannot sustain it. So they are all gone. They fade away like they don't exist. Their memories forgotten. Their channels like graveyards, quiet and lonely. And now they are lamenting. See, nothing on YouTube is easy. YouTube is not a get rich quick scheme where you will invest all your money that sugar daddy gave you. Now the money don't cast the channel. Don't you use your bad attitude to cast them. You use your hand to cast your channel. You put it down by the fact that you can't control your mouth. You use your bad attitude to destroy all that you gain. Now, Ghanaians have not sent us to say, go and market our country. Now, we come here because we want the, you know, hustle, now part of the hustle. Now, according to you people, you believe that some of us are doing it for the views. You see this channel. If I decide today, I will not, I will not talk about Ghana again. I will still get people following me on here because, of course, they love me. And why? Not because I have spoken good of their country. Because they could see that I am not taking them for granted and I'm not lying. You. <laughs> you lost money that you invested on YouTube. It's, not, but it's, it's nobody's fault. It's your bad attitude. Now, for you to come and tell people not to marry me, like, I mean, like, how? You said I couldn't find a man in Nigeria. It's true. Mm, I couldn't find a man because, I mean, yeah, the Nigerian man I was married to, it was a woman, not a man. Uh -huh. So I decided to come to where I can find men and then you use your hand from distance. You want to put Sansan inside my gallery by telling Ghanaians not to marry me. What did I do to you? I mean, what exactly did I do to you that you're doing that to me? Of all the things you said in the video about me, is that one that is paining me? I'm not surprised that you make video about me. I mean, you tried to, you took time, you, did, you, didn't, you should have made these videos uh, you should have made this video long ago, but you were patient with me to see if I will stop. No, I won't stop. I will continue until you stop. You see all of you that are doing this content, these divisional videos in my name as a Nigerian. Eh? You want to rep me. You want to represent me. You want to go and look for trouble. I will not stop until you guys are until I flush you all out. The other ones are now using Cameroon. Cameroon is not selling for them. Because they say you, they say you, I mean, like, why, why can't you just be normal? Like, why, why can't you behave yourself? I mean, why? Tomorrow you will swear for Nigeria. Next tomorrow you call Nigeria names. You will say all sort of things. As long as it's said about Nigeria by the people from that region, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. At least the other regions, then they fear Unana. <laughs> because <laughs> everybody is off social media doing other things with their life. Now, on a full social media, they, they, why can't you use, take advantage? Now, you are blaming a Ghanaian girl for not promoting your country. What are you sitting there doing? Every day you mount your camera, all you do is insult South Africans, Ghanaians, Kenyans. Why don't you go to your country? Go to Obudukatu Ranch. That's where I, come from, I came from. Go to Obudukatu Ranch. That is my home, my home state. Go there, make a video. Go to Tinapa. It will be refreshing to see a Yoruba person making this type of video. Okay, there is one millipede. That one, her English. By the time she's able to use correct English, the ones I can understand, then I will know. But she does not in any way represent Yoruba people. I lie. Lie, lie. Not be the same Yoruba people me I grew up with. When we say I grew up for their hand, like they took care of me, ge ge ge, till I grow finish. I've been another Yorubani. Why is it always you people? Why, 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 why? This is the problem. Why? Yet you say your country is the best. Why can't you sit at home? You are the one traveling to Ghana. You are the one going to Kenya. You are the one going to South Africa. Try sit back at home and build the country. That way you build it. We that you, you have accused us of not loving the country because we refuse to be as senseless as you. We refuse to be psychophants to sit down and insult international communities when they didn't do us nothing. You say we don't love the country. Build the country so that when we want to come, you can tax us. Because for me, nobody can stop me from coming to Nigeria, not even the president. Because come on, I am a Nigerian. And you people can't change that. Especially people that say they are not Nigerians. 
now hold on i want to play some videos let's iron this matter is it's going to be a long video so but bear with me okay you people are fighting with yourselves in nigeria yet you come to the international communities and fight for nigeria and the fight you are fighting doesn't even make sense your people are the ones that hate the most like the, your people hate so much like when you want to talk of tribalism in my home country in my beloved nigeria you confess you sit on the high table because it's you that i will have a fight with someone and then when you come there the first question will be where are you from they will not ask you what is the problem they'll ask you where are you from and then when you tell them where you are from they'll say okay they'll walk away if you are from their place they'll speak their language adding more pepper <laughs> add you down there in the comment section of this video and you people are always the first to go to other people's country and, and read orientations for them like what be this you want to teach them how to rule how to live so let me tell you something about tribalism you see tribalism tribalism is not about speaking your native language do you understand speaking your native language is of course something you should embrace and be proud of but i mean like how do you treat people that are not from your place it's beyond just the language i mean if you speak your language and i tell you i don't understand i mean like who do who but how do you treat me when you realize that I'm, I'm, if I'm not from your place, your region, or I'm not from your country, this is where tribalism comes in. You guys have to stop this nonsense. As long as you continue to do these videos, I'm here. I have nothing to lose. Eh? I have nothing to lose. The one that hurts me is that my audience do not like these types of videos. They like something else. They like something else, and I know what they like. But I'm not doing this because I can't do the others. You guys should calm down. Calm down, okay? Calm down. Stop it. If you love your country, you don't have to insult other people to prove that. It's not until you tell other people they are ugly that means that makes you feel like you are beautiful. No. So now you talked about um, people not promoting Nigeria. What about you promote Nigeria? This girl, do videos, home videos remove ghana from your thumbnail remove south africa remove kenyans focus on showcasing god bless nigeria for some time the algorithm is not going to recognize your new content but if you continue to do it it will pick up nigerians also want to see we have intelligent nigerians serious minded you know nigerians are not majority of these people are not even from your region that truly want to see nigeria and they want the world to see the real Nigeria that you say exists, but that you are blaming other people for not telling a story that sounds sweet to your hair. What do you want? What do you want? <sighs> As these videos continue to come, we will continue to make these types of videos that I'm making now. I hope you're ready because I don't understand why you cannot focus on the beauty of your own country you are constantly on other people all the time you want to do video bring ghana flag what are you looking for what are you looking for you same you you say nigeria no good i'm going to play some clips uh, let me play some clips where people are all the same country they say they love so much and all these people want want one thing they have in common is they are all from the same region if other people are afraid of you i am not even friends of mine from your region if they say they don't do it again i know they fear anything I mean, like, we move. The conducive environment. We want a strike. We start shutting down in Nigeria because no money to produce. Producers can no longer see their capital. They are not even interested in profit again. Let me save my capital, but they can't see their capital. In every rich in town, in a queue, after our local, Mr. Obi can come out. You cannot continue talking about tribe and religion in a country that has decayed. Nigeria has decayed. Mm, but sitting down and allow you guys to continue to rubbish the image, image of Nigeria on the moths like this. Every time you come and say they have said this, when you people are using your mouth to say all sort of about the country. What do you want from other people? Why can't you mind your own business? Leave Ghanaians alone. For Kenyans, those ones is like their own, their own, eh? Ah, 
their own social media brouhaha is, is on another level. They can they can use their keyboard to kill you. Like type like this. Akuna <laughs> matata. And the beautiful thing is that I will never be on the bad book of any international community because you know why? I will never come and sit down and make downgrading videos about other people. Mama never taught me that. And it baffles me when you guys do this thing and you think it's okay all the time. N -n Nigeria, do you want to pay me if you say this girl, do, go back to school, dear miracle. Don't you think it's time to go back to school? I mean, like you have invested all these monies into making a YouTube video, into building a YouTube channel, but it looks like you didn't have, like you were not informed. So why don't you now go back and write jam? I think jam is out. I'm going to call someone to find out. Go back to school or go and learn work. Because this thing you're doing, I don't, I don't understand where you went. Okay, fine. If someone from your region will come and marry you. Uh -huh. Yeah, and provides for you. You become a wife, an Udogu wife. Uh -huh. For me, and now that you have told people not to marry me, I don't understand. Like, is it good? All of you that are bullying me, all of you YouTubers that are bullying me, are people with no lives. Stop looking for trouble in the name of Nigeria. Nigerians are good people. They are loving. The ones are saying Nigerians are kind-hearted. Eh? They are nice. They give to Ghanaians. They give to other people. You don't you know that Ghanaians are also very kind-hearted? I mean, because we know they talk. <laughs> we know they talk. We know they talk. May we talk? Hey, Ghanaians don't even want. If I talk this thing, they go verse for me. You were, hey, before I forgot, this guy said, even if I'm being maltreated in Ghana, I cannot speak. Ah, see, f come and maltreat me now and think. Glad I didn't forget to say this before the end of this video. She said, even if I'm being treated badly in Ghana, I will not be able to have complain because Ghanaians will come for me. It's a lie. I think the only time someone treated me badly, I went to the police to report her. I mean, the, the lady that took my baby daddy away from me <laughs> because I'm desperate for a husband. Yeah. So I think that guy is supposed to marry me, but she took him from me. So I went to the police and guess what they did to her that day? Mm, the police boss. She's not the one I went to report, but she followed her boyfriend to the station. And you need to see what the Ghanaian policewoman told her. If they tell that to you in Nigeria, you will, cut, you will cry. You will say, because I'm not from Yoruba, oh, because I'm not, I'm not Awusa, oh, because I'm not, oh, I'm not oh, Okalaba, oh. that is why they are saying that to me. Oh. They, they, see, this Ghanaian police woman told that lady hard words and even sweat for her. He told her that on behalf of all the women in Ghana, they are ashamed of that my baby daddy's girlfriend for snatching a husband from me you know a potential husband <laughs> oh god so for snatching a potential husband from me they are ashamed of her uh guess what she didn't know that i'm a youtuber not to even talk of knowing the types of videos i do actually i should have told her show her my channel where i'm talking highly of the Ghanaian police hey i believe this woman would have they would have collected my husband back for me and to think that you fell for these jokes that I make on my community tabs because majority of my audience are men, okay? Majority of them are men and sometimes for me to get them to respond to a post or when I just want to be funny, I come up with this husband idea. My sister, I know they find husband who, hmm? <laughs> no let, no let it that they post, they carry away. You know why? I think if I want a husband, I have like okay fine maybe i'm looking for a husband mm, but is it your husband i'm looking for after all i say i don't do nigerian men so it means you should be celebrating because where i am and where you are i'm gonna be choosing first english you can't speak sense you know get bad character only you you know this you know get sense so it looks like this i'm way better like i look look at me at my age look at me at my age i'm still looking like this do you know my age I could actually give birth to you. Yeah, I'm still looking like a girl. I'm still like making you want to, you know, run. You want to go and I, I still, I still they set standard for you. Your bad attitude is the reason. So go back to school, acquire some skills. I mean, if you want to do this YouTube and do it well, change your niche, 
promote our country. Nigeria save justice for Nigeria. Come on, justice for Nigeria. Promote Nigeria. I dare you to promote Nigeria. Go to Abuja, make quality content, promote FCT. Abuja is a pretty place. I lived there for quite a while, I've lived everywhere. You understand? The only place I've not really lived is your is your is your region because i don't like feeling like a slave i don't like living in a place where everybody has issues with me because i'm not from there you know you have issues with me because i don't speak the language it's okay but having issues with me because i'm not from that region will make me feel like a slave so i don't live there i've never lived there the only time i think i've lived there just on a visit and it was terrible mm. for me i live in yoruba land the Niger Delta, Sabamaka, you know, these are places you see me. I do not like the feeling of being treated like a slave. Here in Ghana, I can beat my chest to tell you that I feel more at home in Ghana than even when I was living in Nigeria. Apart from when I was living in Asaba, yeah, in Asaba, I felt great. I felt at home. Enjoy any part of Nigeria where nobody cares where you're from. Go to the southern part of Nigeria. If you pass that one, you go to. Yoruba land because them say then they try. Then you go to northern Nigeria. Eh? You see other places. <laughs> so when you're done taking all my advice, do videos that will blow you up. So you don't sit down here and start to fight with everybody. You promote everything. Are you people this strategy you're using to destroy Nigeria will not work? It will not work. Some of us will not sit down and allow it. Okay, you want to come and represent us? No, not be you, Godwam. Because you get bad manners. Your intentions are not genuine. Okay, so I'm done with this video. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.